It all started with online. Alright, what is this? Thank. What the fuck? Hey, you. Yeah, Lyric tried and got DDoS, yeah. Sounds that will enter your ears? What the fuck? Phobia toggles? Okay, let's not read that. Mailbox? Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We're pleased to have you aboard as, as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She'll be calling you today br to brief you on your duties. It will review in your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Okay. Another victim. Oh yeah, true foul. I think it's a five. Oops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Okay. True. True. That's what? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, home safety hotline. Yeah, I saw Ticket A drone show. That shit was awesome. All right, Monday. Let's see what's up. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in. All right. Okay. Bed bugs. Let's check this. What's up? Mm, cute. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals and their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas of the home. Homeowners infested with bed bugs of Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, this is interesting. I like this. Okay. Uh, they often report itchiness and sometimes a delayed onset of... John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Hey, you. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. <laughs> Uh, some kind of infestation, specks of dirt in the kitchen. It sounds like black mold or something. Please hold. 
Black mold is a common house of fungus known to grow in a moist form. It appears fingers in small black spots. A musty smell. What else do we have? Carpenter ants? A rustling sound. Nah, no, it's gotta be that. I'm just gonna check. There's a lot of entries here. Gopher? The fuck is that? Cute! My small raccoon. No, no, it's gotta be. It's gotta be black mole. Let's try that. Mice? What? There's no way. What? Uh, infestation. Specks of dirt or some. Oh, dirt! Oh. Oh, it was dirt. And this is small. Okay, maybe it's not then. True. Specks of dirt. No. Similar to coffee grounds? Just looks like coffee to me, he says. It could be cockroach. I'm gonna put cockroach. Fuck this. Let's try it. It's gotta be cockroach. Sorry. Okay, I got his works. I got his works. Okay, cool. Nice. This is fun. Small flight creatures are known to commonly reside inside homes and frequently surround those whose death is impending. Homeowners afflicted with houseflies commonly report buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. Houseflies are no immediate danger to humans, but are no deceased carriers. They frequently have. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like. You know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Please hold. They hear a faint rustling sound. I'm not sure that's 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 just not rustling though. It sounds like mice. Uh, small worthless rodents. <laughs> Mice and more is common found. Homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. It's gotta be mice. E e e e e e e e. Hey you. It's it's mice. Hey you. All right, let's go for mice. Yeah. Bees. Have the I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. All right. Please hold. Raccoon? Small internal mammals with gray and brown fur for the tendency to rummage through cabbage cans for nesting addicts. Homeowners visitors offer for frequent garbage spills, clattering sounds at night. Mole? 
Most of small dark brown furry animals point on the known to eat insects. Fighting humans. Solution. Dinero. It was me. Sorry. Huge piles of crap. I, I don't see what else it would be. Golfer. Damaging gardens. Oh. Uh, maybe it's burrows that he means when he says huge piles of crap or something. Gopher. 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 Where did uh, Raccoon go? Fuck okay, yeah. I go with the first one. Raccoon. Very small arachnids known to feed on human or animal blood and are most commonly found in tall grass. I've never had a th Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that, uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Is he prank calling? What a fucker. And that and the goddess takes 92. Is the laser takes 49 and I get 21. Of course, like six years and Gregor takes 49. But Tillier takes 40. Thank you. All right. Well, I have anything else? Uh, oh, well, up. Big feller. Oh. All right. What do we have? have a lawn mowing service or something my good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there looking like a rainforest over here my kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done what please hold Law mowing serves on my goof and nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting really crazy. I look looking like a rainforest over here. I guess playing about being too sick to do anything about it. Almost giving me a headache just think I send some guys to get this done. Yeah, I mean yeah, the ticks they live in uh, tall grass. That's the only thing I have, I guess. Hey, you. I'm gonna take. Very off. It's 29. Thank you. Yeah, I've never had a take IRL. Oh. I had 75. I missed one. Aww. Okay. What did you get if you get over 90? Oh yeah, coupon. I wonder what that is. Hopefully I'll get it now. Uh, quit before it's too lasata. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You're in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit. Really, trust me. What? What up, Harla? Good shit, dude. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. I want to get over 90, dude. Anything new? No? Yeah, let's see if Forsen also gets uh, network stuff. Or 
person. It's Hello? Carol again. Oh. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the client that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. Oh, shit. Huh? Wait, it was the the moles? Fuck, it was the moles there. Or whatever. Yikes. Uh sounds of scratching and flapping at night. Gopher, yeah, gopher. Sorry, I'm uh, uh calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? Oh, what? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. Hold. What is bed teeth? What the fuck? A rare household fungus? Cool. Black mold. Allergic reaction or breathing problems on black mold? Carbon monoxide. Water heater. Headaches, dizziness, and lethargy. Th this guy was, um... Sniffles, though. Cellar growth. A large piece of fungi. Okay. Common hob? What the fuck? Small human or creatures gray burlap-like skin? Small vertical tufts of hair on their head. Okay. They're not dangerous humans on their own if provoked. Okay. Descob. <laughs> Alright. False beat. Okay. They take root in the human stomach, fitting off its nutrients for its lifetime. Digestive issues and potential back problems. Fracture hub. Longer, wilder hair locks. Hmm. Frozen pipe. Frozen! Stop it, cracks, leaks. Uh, okay. House fire. Well, it definitely ain't that. Pipe growth. Blood bubbling. Well, the thing is, this guy was sick like pollen or something. No, they bear no... Oh, yeah. Stair slug? Well, I'm thinking black mold here, bro. Allergic reactions. Maybe that's what he's having. Oh, yeah, it says right here. 
Uh, calling see if you might know anything about. Uh, can you uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I cannot stop sneezing. Oh yeah, it's definitely black mold. It's gotta be. What up, Beaming? I'm not sure you finished your sentence. <laughs> oh, Volpe. Hey, you. Yo, Pixel is the 11. such a thing as house thieves that clean like maybe to disguise the robbery oh it's that the night, hobbs I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room but it's hobbs when i go look at it I for find sure place spotless but haven't huh. yet found anything missing hey i've you. talked with the cops but they keep telling me to call this number so here i am is there something you can do it's a hope for sure hold. uh common hope maybe let's see they're small human creatures with gray burlap like skin and small vertical lofts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They're known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes. Cleaning them in the process. They come out at night. I believe it's a Hey, you Yeah, it's gotta be a common hope, I think. Uh, uh known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and freely sort and order materials and desks to their liking. Hmm. No, but it spoke about nighttime though, right here. And they come out and she hears it at night. Yeah, it's gotta be a common hope. Let's do that. Solutions? Oh yeah, shit, it says there. Hook me. They can't be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Do you order pizza or kebab, Volpe? Shit, I don't know. Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Whippersnappers? Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Please hold. What hobs do we have? We have a bed teeth here, but this is like a mushroom or something. Fungus. We report mild discomfort with sleeping so tickling or itching. That doesn't sound like it. Here's cockroach. Fracture hub? Cracks and Fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. Okay. Uh, no, she's saying uh, I hear something crawling in the walls and teeth marks on the bedpost. 
I don't think it's a hold, but... Oh, that can't be it. Bath? No. Saints rustling coming from their walls. It's got to be Carpenter Ants. I think it's Help Carpenter me, Ants. Please. If a homeowner is infested with these pests, sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nest. Yeah, there's teeth marks, but maybe it's ant teeth marks, chat. <laughs> from thermi termites. It's not going to be bed teeth. This is fucking fungus, dude. And it doesn't say anything about the wall here, I think. No, I don't think that's it. I, I don't think that's it. It's not bed teeth. I think it's term thermites right now. What else do we have? I can check mice. True. I guess it could be the same. Uh, mice. No marks. Small dropping sounds of squeaking though. She's, she hears something crawling in the walls. And there's gnaw marks. But she's not t talking about... She does, she's not hearing any squeaking. I am going to go against most of chat here and go termites here, actually. No, not termites. What did I say? Squeaky floorboard. What did I say? Carpenter ant, I said, right. Particularly wood. Homeowners would determine if they should report peeling paint, small holes in drywall, or squeaky floorboards. Nah. Why it doesn't like why would it be a mice? Report gnaw marks, yeah, but Teeth marks on the bedpost? Why would they be biting the bedpost? Also, is something crawling in the walls? Faint rustling sound coming from their walls. But what? Why would the ant be on the bedpost though? I don't know. They have teeth that never stops growing. They need to chew them down. Really? Oh fuck! Let me read. Let me see if this says here. A house cat. Okay. I don't know, dude. Is it actually mice? I don't hear the squeaking, but I could try it, I guess. Fine. Fuck it. Yeah, the audio... Yeah, nah, I don't know. Nah, I don't feel right about this. I'm gonna go with the carpenter ant chat. I'm doing it. I'm doing carpenter ant. I'm doing it. I'm gonna go with my gut. Yeah. I'm doing it. Ah. So bye now. Thanks for two years. Thank you, fearless. Thanks for nine. Thanks for seven. Thanks for the eleven. Thank you. Oh. lately sounds like scratching or something it's real quiet so definitely some kind of pest in my walls i've sent out all kinds of traps but uh 
I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Ah. <sighs> Please hold. Yeah, that's ants for sure. Fuck me. That's gonna be carpenter ants coming from the walls. Dinero. Chat is always right. When will Ella learn? Hey, you. The, oh yeah, it is. It's it is chat. It's not thermites. Carpenter ant. Wait, is there a pipe hub? There's frozen pipes. Oh, pipe hub. I don't know. Uh, th this is uh, definitely carpenter ants, I believe. So I fucked up the previous one, it seems like. Fuck me. Fuck it, fuck. Uh, Dwarven takes 25 to buy, takes two years. Fear takes a no, I'm Thank you. Alright. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, man. Hell yeah, Volpe. Let's go. No, this is a, um, Please hold. this is a desk hob, I believe. Going through papers, Toronto Media Organization, yeah, it's gotta be. Pie to their home, sword and order materials and desk, oh yeah, it's, it's a desk hob, no doubt. It's a desk hob. It's ants. Yeah, it's probably ants again. 80%. Fuck! I want to get 90. It was a higher though. I had 75 last time. So you're from Soft Hob? Yeah. Wait, is that broadcast here? The real estate update. Okay. Bed five ball room. This takes place in ninety six, by the way. Chat. A civil authority has been issued a missing persons alert for the following counties: Bush County, Maple County, Parker County, Berry County. Approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on 
chairperson last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. And bang, up the butt. Yo, I just want to say I went to the gym for the first time today. Was only able to do about 40 minutes or so, but worth it. It is Wagdolf. I am very proud of you, you know? Very good job. And keep it up now, dude. All right? You will not regret it. You get so rewarded, dude. So, so rewarded. Almost a phrase, but thank you for the five. So, zero kidnapped Tello. Lily. Yeah, maybe. You've got mail. Oh, it's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe... It's safe here. Thank you called him. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. You may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Be sure you're studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down. Oh... It will be expected to provide accurate answers. Oh, fuck. I gotta know all these damn answers now. Yikers. Check in DDoS. <laughs> fuck yeah. All good there. Yeah, Forsen was not playing against PC players now. But I am on PS5 only against PS5 today. That was before I factory reset the router, though. So I think I'll try it ranked again later and just see if it works. The thing is, Lyric is getting Hello. a problem, though, and he has a VPN. So. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Mirror Nymph? There are subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. Oh, it's a slug. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. That's definitely a slug. It's got to be a stair slug. Tea sprite? It's lurking from out of sight on top of the stairs. Oh wait, you can hear steps creaking? Toilet hub. Second chance, do you know any good fighting pads for PS5? Uh, I don't know. I, I got linked in the Discord in the fighting tab uh, thing. It was a link actually, like, for like pads for fighting game, but I've never tried them. Wow, this is not gonna be a toilet hob. Eee. Oh. Probably not that whistling fungi. Wine sprite. This sounds like a hob to me. It definitely sounds like a hob. What hobs do we have? Memory wisp. 
But a stair slug won't have steps, will it? Stair slug was my first go-to, but he says there's steps. Don't worry, Ella. Hob is not real. He can't hurt you. Oh, do they mean the stairs? I can hear steps creaking under its... <laughs> Bro, I... Uh, of course. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a stair slug. <laughs> no doubt. Bruh. Bro. No, the thing is, I got one guy there. Because when I went to stairs slug in the beginning... I saw someone say in chat, yeah, because slugs leave steps. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, they don't. Whistling. Whoops. Lyric stream is going down all the time today. Any play tech in, yeah. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this oh, nasty bathroom hob. Anytime I run it. Or pipe hob. Like uh, nasty smell. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Let me read Pipe Hope for a bogger. The fuck? There's a general term for a metamorphose metamorphosed hob. Hey, you. False artifact. The fuck? Can only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Falls rose bush? What the fuck? Plant like creatures most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. Creatures have two small humanoid feet. They used to chase down prey. What the fuck? Lamp sprite? I gotta find the pipe hob. Here. From the bathroom faucet. Uh, making homes out of tube like structures such as pipes. They burn no false face and much smaller. They will commonly emerge from their home at night to consume any dirt crime, cleaning the process. Uh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Nasty sound. It says nasty smell though. Hey, you. Wait. Wait, no, it could be. Lucas, if they are uh, provoked, they, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. So maybe it farts when he runs the uh, the, the thing. Could be. Could be. This is a good one. What about a pipe growth? Oh, there's an audio on pipe growth? Okay, let me see this. Oh, they're fungus. Known for making homes out of damp. Two black structures to pipe. Pipe grows. Goes so longer than the pipes they inhabit. Therefore, clog the pipe. They're known to make loud, bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. Okay. Ooh. Tell him it's ants, yeah. It's ants. Still says nasty smell though, but... It's pipe ants. Yeah, no, it, it's pro... Still the nasty smell though. Yeah, I, I guess digestion or... It sounds like it kind of farts there or burps. Any other pipe stuff? No, I'm gonna go with this, I think. 
Toilet hub? I don't think that was a thing, was it? Oh, it is. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. There's some reason to hop there, no for coming as I toilets. Toilets, though. Hey, you. Uh, two separate clumps of wispy hair. They tend to clean their homes. And they, they keep it spotless. The toilet they reside in. No, but this is the faucet. It's it, I th I'm gonna go with uh, the growth. The pipe growth. Frozen? Frozen pipes? Oh yeah, I guess I should check that. That's smart. Uh, water inside pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeless frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds. That sounds like it, dude. Frozen. Yeah, it's the smell one. Frozen. Carpenter ants. It's carpenter ants. Alright. Well, there's a lot of stuff now. There's still a lot that is inaccessible too. Thank you, Shasta, for the five. And Lucky Chuckles takes four years. Lobster Tamer takes 23. Thank you. Gaben? No. I think I have an idea. That's Carpenter Ants. Lyric is still fighting his internet problems from Tekken. Yeah, I'm gonna try Tekken later and see. Uh, let me listen again while I scroll. My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. It's kind of weird, but this is only. Uh... I heard that, JD. Yeah, I heard that. It must be like a a wisp or something. Let's see here. This sounds kind. Of, it's not. I don't think it's this one though. But it's kind of interesting that not being hey, able to recognize you. her own face. Let's see here. Um, the audio sample right above is incorrect. Memories are visible in orderless household ways that are known for removing memories from the home and its own homeowners. Homeowners festival with memories will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. That's the one, yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, it's her. I mean, that's... It's that, 100%. Uh, water juice takes 15, and I am thanks 18, thank you. But yeah, I'm gonna launch Tekken on PS5 and only go up against PS5. Hey, yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and Pebbles, sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> Pranker, complainer, you know. Oh, yeah, solution. 
Memory mists will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. Oh, wow. That's rough. Yeah, I should read these uh, solutions. They're cool. Once started, Woods Creations will continue. Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Oh, I know my what this is. are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Yep, it's the bed teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Bed teeth. I usually shower, like, once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health. We Just like chat. Uh, bed teeth. Oh, well, we know it's bed teeth. It has to be bed teeth. Of course it's bed teeth. I got a network error. No. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. Huh? The bottom of the wall has some cracks or... Okay, wait. ...peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Hey, you. Alright. How old? I think this is... Let's see here. Okay, I do have... The wall of my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. As cracks, maybe it's peeling. Let's see here. They report peeling paint, small holes in a drywall, or squeaky floorboards. Fracture hub? Well, let's check that too. Calls cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes. Oh yeah, and it's in the bottom because it's small. <laughs> they cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese. <laughs> Yeah, I'll read solutions, yeah. You gotta leave our cheese each night before going to bed. Yeah, I do believe it's a fracture hob then. The bottom of all some cracks, so maybe it's peeling. It would be easy to think it's termites though, but the fact that it says they emph she emphasizes the bottom of the wall. Yeah, let's go with fracture hob. Easy, thanks 57. Water juice, thanks 15. <laughs> no, it's got, I think it's a fracture hob. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big uh, time. Sometimes they might not you listen to your advice. Okay. My house and you figure it out. <laughs> Only. Please hold. But I know what you're doing. Yeah, weird noises coming from your living room. Carpenter ants. It's 
small human creatures with gray burlap like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on there. They have no false face. Their tendency to consume dust, dirt, stinky substances. Info package, wait. A bowl of cream, yeah. So he's talking about this. Repair costs. So what about the metamorphosis or whatever? Was that a boggart? Was that B? Yeah. Uh, they are a metamorphosed hob. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They're known for causing household accidents, flooding fires, and electric outages. Oh. Yeah, so it's a bogger then, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's power outages, so. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active boggart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak of the boggart at any time, in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. Boggart. Boggart. Three point three. Ah, uh, I thought I did all good though. Which one could have been wrong? Unless it's scripted. Oh, science mysteries. Mystery of mice? Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. House mouse. And this house mouse. is Mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Damn, all right. Mailbox. The new office pet. 
Uh, we're excited to introduce all of our new, brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious uh, as serious about pest control as we are. Give yeah, Whiskers yeah. a warm so welcome to see him wander by our desk. Lily. Ratatouille. All right, here we go. The girl's cat. Solution for unicorn fungi. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or... Hello, Supervisor Carol here. Can you hear again? I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Travel Gnome! Travel Gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of Gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never oh. had any problems until now. I keep hearing things. Wait, this is the beat, I think. Water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things. This is the beat. Water, so. Send someone out to get this fix for us. They're only eating homegrown fruits and veggies. Please Watch hold. this. It's called a false beat, I think. False beets are creatures with a beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. Uh, they're harmless unless eaten by human, which they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off a nutrient for a lifetime. It is caused digestive issues and potential back problems. Hold up. Yep. False beets only find themselves in the gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beets, it's advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Well, I'm going false beet, though. Yikes, sorry, bro. <laughs> Floor roots? What the fuck? The tree like brown roots that are known to grow upwards of the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or on humans in their vicinity. your people sent me but i'm still getting cracks oh, on my wall yeah okay uh, my daughter is called pest control and she told me not to call you anymore for help i'm sorry goodbye yeah i think that gnome was wrong it was probably termites then that's an l anyways floor roots require something to wrap around before they will seize their growth The horde? The fuck is that? The police told me to call this number, so I uh hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh I think I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Please hold. 
The Horde is an invisible, odorless, collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. Once introduced to a home, the Horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It's advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the Horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the Horde from gathering in one's home, it's advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the Horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the hostel can often assist in this process. Dinero. What do you think about this emote? I will check this later, alright? Thank you. Hold up. Um. Uh, Night Gnome? Oh. Night of small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They're known for the tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night and gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds. Breathing. Oh yeah, it's definitely a night gnome. Solution! Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitant sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. Well, it's gotta be a night gnome. Yoli tell him to bro. Let him schizo. <laughs> what the fuck? We already have a schizo, but I think it's with me instead. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him schizo. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. This sounds very familiar. Please hold. A portal? Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners, discovered most commonly in the basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. The solution. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. This seal should be airtight as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It's advised to utilize HSS home security services. Yeah. Alright, so something with the ventilation and they hear awful banging noise come from the ceiling. A seedling. Small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They're known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Alright. To remove them from a garden, one should not go near the established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose spring with a similar range device. Hmm. Right, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, let's see here. An attic gnome? Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound come from the ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. The solution for an attic gnome, uh, it's recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly, as to avoid giving it a source of food. It will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. That's an attic gnome. No, 
nice. Fey flu? It's a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fey. Symptoms of fey flu. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me hey, to call you. you. So please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and uh. such a sweetheart. Wait, the this is that plant that hunts children. That's rough. Please Let me see this bush here. Uh, false rose bush. They're large plant like creatures that commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. In place of roots, the creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets as their diet consists of small mammals. And they're known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk and they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. To remove false rosebush from a garden they have inhabited, it's advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. If a false rosebush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to new territory. Yeah, there's nothing about bees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Hey, you. But. But. Last time I saw him, I was tucking him into bed. Okay, well, he wasn't outside. Cellar Grotto? There are large cave like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners often report a bad smell from the basement. Hey, you. Higher humidity in home and notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. They can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. The creator often resides somewhere within the Grotto subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment. What the fuck? Fake artifact. Yeah, let's check it. Uh, here. They're human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They're known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Owner, homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. While not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose significant risk to small human children or animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact or at risk of being encased within? Once in case, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take hey, upwards you. of several years to complete, starvation can be more a processing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically removing the object out of one's home. Uh, removal services should be called to remove the object. Should a pet or a loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing process. Bro. That's rough. Yeah, it makes a buzzing sound and he was worried about bees. Oh, that's fucked to be honest. It's, it's definitely a false artifact though. Wow. Fame Frost thinks 34, Lobo thinks 5, Jane the Dwalk, Johns thinks 4, and Viber thinks 15. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I would really like to play Tekken, but every time I do, I get like my bitrate just spikes like crazy, like uh, DDoS. And Lyric is, and some other streamers are having the same issue. When will I stream Infinite Wealth? I have no day set for it, Stane. I don't know when I'm doing it, to be honest. Game is very long, so. Hi. I want time for I'm it. Concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I 
recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor? I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering oh, if you can offer... Oh, they had the gnome. Advice. This was the gnome. The gnome was eating cheese. Uh, but... Let's see. Which gnome was it? Was it a fracture? Oh, I mean hob. Any kind of cheese. Yeah, fracture hob. There are several large cracks in the walls. They cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes. Yeah. Well, it's gotta be this. But the thing is... Did it not work? Yeah, yeah, no. They, they've eaten the cheese. It worked until they left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can't be removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm wondering, like, why is it half eaten, though? Does it not like it? I don't know, whatever. I'm looking too much into it. Fracture hub. Yeah, I'm not finding anything closer. No way. All right, what do we have? Uh, Night Wisp. Some pieces of wisp in the form of bright floating lights are known to hover outside windows and night while whispering premises of wealth and good fortune. They will move on to other homes after a week or so if they're ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear a sleeping mask or in sleep. Disruption. <laughs> But I'm taking eight. Yeah, every time I go online for ranked fights, I'm taking eight. It's uh, my bit rate shoots up to like 40, 30, 40,000 bit rate, and then I lose my internet connection. And it only happens when I go online on taking eight. And other, there's some other people who's had the same issue. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try later again. Cause I would love to just play Tekken, but I just, I, yeah. If the whole internet goes down, you know, I'm not the only one affected. So, yeah. Uh, oh. Huh? Oh, wait, is this the Faye thing? I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? I think it's the Faye thing Please that we read about. Faye flu? I'm pretty... Uh, yeah, so I can't choose now, but I'm pretty sure this is the Faye flu. We did read about this. I'm going with Faye flu. Yeah, exactly, Rika. I was just thinking about it. I gotta read all of it. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! 
There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage Hermites. there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. Wait, what? I need help. Bad. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Please hold. I don't have any connection? I do. Okay, I do have connection. Wait, a hole so the dog disappeared? That doesn't sound like termites, but... Healing paint, small holes in a drywall of squeaky floorboards? There, there's no fucking way. It's this. <laughs> no way. Wood secretions? Uh, pink, vicious liquid sometimes some form from wood that has been mistreated, known to drip for- Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Dark damage such as cellars. Slime, no. Uh, Fay feast? No, 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 no. Floor roots? It doesn't say it. Make any repairs to the floor as needed. They're, they're known for strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. But he's talking about all the holes and shit. This doesn't mention that. So I vanquished. This is kind of rough. What is this seedling? We did read this. Right. No. No. Portal? I mean... Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking the roots, because exactly, the, the holes they grow from, I guess. Let's see what's in fungi. No. No, 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 no. Unicorn fungi? Heads of furry mammals and household pests. They often affect the animals... This position caused them to be drawn to the soil. They report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. But not directly harmful to humans, they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. It's gotta be this. Solution. Uh, it will go after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically or removed... If removed, needs expediting. To prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet. Alright. Yeah, no, it's gotta be a unicorn fungi. Let's go. Cool. Aw, oh, doggy. Dog is missing? Yeah, but it did, does say here uh, that they're drawn to the soil. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking it's strong that it's like, oh, fuck me. That's probably wrong, wasn't it? No, it could be correct, too. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. All right. I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas 
this is happening to my living room. I'm oh. back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Please hold I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. My living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery. No, 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 no. No. Hey, you. Uh, they're known for burrowing in outdoor plants and gardens, feeding off the roots nearby weeds. The we Though their weed kill livestock can make them useful gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling infested garden. They're known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Oh. Seems to be just a garden. The fuck is this? No, not that. It's not a portal. They can fold their bodies into various, shape, various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report loud rattling or banging sounds come from the washing machine. Oh, that's not it. That is not it. Hey, you. Oh yeah, travel gnome. Yeah, because she was traveling. We could try that. They're highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspected travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They're found most commonly in high forested areas of the globe. They can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated solution spraying pesticide pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter travel gnomes gardening prospects at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location to encourage a travel gnome to relocate one can invite others to stay in their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away its visitors luggage let's try with tra travel gnome Uh, hey there, brother. What's up? It's 13. Sub gnome, yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a dick move there. Oh! There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. Uh-oh. Uh oh, this is a cave like a system. Sewer, yep, and I can hear things, all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there. Oh yeah, it's a cave system, 100%. What it might be doing down there, oh yeah, 100%. We read like about it's this. Causing a whole lot of damage. Please send somebody to help with this. We do know what this is. With something like this. Please. Hold. Yeah, so we know this is the grotto or whatever. Cellar grotto, I think. Bad smell from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and notable increase in large beetle frogs. Yeah, so, it talks about water, right? Might be a lot of water, and it says here. Uh, their creator often resides somewhere within the Grotto subterranean lake. For safety, it brings belonging and snorkeling equipment, yeah. No. It's definitely Cellar Grotto. It has to be Cellar Grotto, no doubt. 
<laughs> Hello, old chum. I'm not a gnolf. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed. Run, oh, no, Alice. Thanks. Hundred percent, bro. Let's go. I think it might be like the where well, we get the last uh, entries now. I think. Woo! It was the unicorn. Yeah, it was. No new video. Science mysteries broadcast television. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Uh, don't. What the fuck was that? Don't come to the hole. Their hole is a breached. Repeat. The hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Okay. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we'll need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized. Hey, you. Woo! Congratulations, employee. Your high accurate rate was awarded you with today's daily coupon. Uh, today's daily coupon is for tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil, this river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. Uh, to receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Rooting for ya. Right. That's great, bro. Thanks. Hmm. Mr. Sandman, bring me up. Thanks for 30, dude. Thank you. I'm going to try taking again after this, I think. It's been three hours, no problem. And the other stream has been four hours. The other stream. Uh, I think. So I'm going to test it. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Do we need to read some stuff? We probably do. Mm, Mr. Salmon. Binky, bink, bonk. Bink, 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 bonk. I feel like we've read most of these, actually. Tea Sprite? A common report leaf like droppings and sound of fluttering near kitchens. Lyric still struggling. Hello. Oh, fuck. Lyric stream Hello. died when I tried to stream ranked one hour ago. your permissions once more keep up the great work employee our eyes rest soundly upon me i'm gonna play on ps5 with no cross play i'm gonna test it lyric said his isp can't change his ip oh damn all right new stuff trash gnome trash gnomes are <laughs> these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know i find a dang tree growing in my shed the oh is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap i assume oh no so it ate them I can do to get these godless teens off my property bro it ate them it ate the kids i think that's why torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid this is dried blood this must be the rose bush. The Let me just read about the order. trash gnome. They're known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for, for hey, both you. food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, taped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. To prevent the trash gnome from homing inside trash, recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two. 
as their ro noses are highly sensitive to the smell. To remove a trash gnome permanently, it is highly advised to utilize remove service. Let's see, we have some new stuff here. Oh, there is a tree here. Okay. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They're often as so I bet a sprig gun has been provoked. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the sprig gun that made them desires it. It's advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. Sprig tree. Oh. They're a rapidly growing tree like organism that takes root in a human body. They're known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow. Generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They're known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. They're deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage. Hmm... There's no cure for sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying the household should vacate the premise immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for the home. It's a sprig tree. It's a sprig tree. F. Big F. Let's read about Soap Sprite. There are subspecies of Sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap, in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds-like suds substance that is used to digest their meals. Last week about some noises in my house and after following the instructions you sent me they still yeah well Robert I had a hundred percent success so happening. I know but, I was uh, correct the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen in the morning I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever but the place looks spotless can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep please hold Is there a kitchen home? Hold up. Soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult. It's recommended to not keep any bars of soap in household to ensure they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. Oh yeah, I'm only on days, right? Well, let's see here. Uh, uh, kitchen. Okay. Cool, bold. They're five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners infested with kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. One should not attempt to remove a kobold from their home. It's strongly advised to hire professionals. So. Uh, well, he's talking about kitchen. False flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They're known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguise themselves as minor flowers. Homeowners report hearing faint singing. Okay. They will lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they've taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Dreamweavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They also are known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. They feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety. And the large webs they weave can often trap dust pets and children. Ooh. To remove a dream weaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dream weavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ens ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep inducing venom. 
Do not let him do this. Closet Labyrinth? There are large twisted networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside of the closet or warders of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from the closet. If the labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital, a closet labyrinth be removed from a home, utilize the removal team. Okay. Well, we need to find something that... It talks about the kitchen, so... Animation? Animations are any are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly reported hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function and no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous activity. In these cases, it's advised to contact HSS Pest Removal Service Cells. Oh yeah, the guy's on hold, right? <laughs> Whoops. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually it happening looks, so I can get some sleep? It looks spotless, he says. Yeah, it's gotta be a hole, but... Common hub? Wait, I found floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. I think it's a common hub. I'm gonna go with common hub. There's no like kitchen hub or anything, so. Rain nymphs are subspecies of nymphs that are most active during rainstorms. They're faint humanoids with a glow in their eye that often appear in their windows and doors. Asking to be let inside. Homeowners affected with rain nymphs often report flooding. Rain nymphs are very preventable in that their pleas to be laid inside can simply be ignored. It's advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms. Avoid to avoid having to endure rain nymphs, various temptations and threats. I'm gonna go with common hob here. That guy wasn't on hold forever. Fafi. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They're known to appear near eating areas of the home. This is the plant we read about. Please hold.
Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh yeah, it's in the greenhouse too. It's definitely false flower, no doubt. No doubt. 100% it is. Shukrima thinks 88 and Samurai thinks 9. And Daniel thinks 23. What is this game? You got to choose the correct one and then it gets weirder and weirder. We're kind of far in at this point. How Wait, what? This game, uh, you're helping people with their really weird issues, and it gets weirder and weirder. Uh, there's still some entries in Accessible, but it's not many. After this day, we'll see him, I think. If you had to pick one, which one of these engines would you rather live with? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, oh. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Okay. Fay Feast was um, the solution. Feasts are a sign of hospitable presence, such as should be, and as such should be consumed immediately once cited to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safely, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Wait. Can someone come find this thing and get I, it out of my house? I read about this. Please the burning hold. scent? Was it a false lamp? Yeah, it's the lamp fay or whatever. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is, 100%. Uh, what was it? A lamp sprite? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a lamp sprite. Because it did say that would be a, a burning smell and stuff. Let's go a lamp sprite. That's an L. Where's L? Okay. Yeah, lamp. After the day is over, take the lint. It took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please. Oh. We have read this. This is the... They're called... Uh... Something root, but it's not only root, it's something else, too.
Oh, is it floor roots? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, the wraps are on various objects or humans in their vicinity. Yep. They serve very little danger to awaken aware human adults. If not spotted quickly, they're known to strain. There are no strangle hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. They require some to wrap around before they will cease their growth. Yeah, we did read this. Yeah. Well, it's definitely floor roots. I think it's fault. I think it's this. Wait, he said, awful tendrils are. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. Well, yeah, where does the roots... Oh, wait, do they not pull them? They just strangle them? No, 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 look at this. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone. Make any repairs to the floor as needed. I think it sounds right. It sounds right to me. He saw it though. It's slow. It says it's slow, yeah. It took it down with it. Yeah, it's definitely like some vine or some shit. Uh, we did read, yeah, about these. Oh, spring tree we had already, I think. Yeah, spring vines. Uh. Nah. Nah. I think it is the 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 first root. I think it is the floor root. I think it is. I think we're looking too much into this. Elden Ring. Oh, Shiro, Elden Ring. thanks to seventeen. Thank you, thank you. False rose bush just eats people. It doesn't br pull them down. Yeah, no, I, it's gotta be floor roots. Chad, I'm picking, I'm gonna pick floor roots. I think we're looking too much into it. <laughs> In before it's ants. Yeah. Do we have all of it unlocked? No. We should be on that day now where we get the last thing unlocked. Carpenter ants. Hey, you. Lucas, thanks for bro. Thank you. It, 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 it stole me. Oh, this it is the mirror me. nymph. Nymph. I'm, yeah. I'm not me anymore. I'm, 100%. He, 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 he took me. He took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Mirror nymph. Help me. I read about Help this. Give me back, please. Yep. Please hold it. It's Mirror Nymph. There are some species of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They're generally small faces and voices humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beck on others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by Mirror Nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. They're not a direct danger to humans, apparently. Mirror Nymphs will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron it implement. Yeah, it's a mirror nymph. Let's go with that. Maybe carpenter ants? Are they even called carpet? Isn't it carpet ants? Oh no, it's carpenter ants, right? Hey, you. Oh, oh yeah, right. Because of right. Okay, all the sir gold x37. Thank you, bro. C carpet ants, but carpenter, dude. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Please hold. They work as carpenters in the daytime. Ah, makes sense, yeah. Huh? Metal scrap and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children. The horde? In my house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Please hold. Curious seller growth, yeah. There are large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments such as cellars. Homeowners infested with cellar groves commonly report a slimy residue with the sound of dripping or stretching or strange glows from their cellar. When in their infancy, cellar groves can be easily scraped off and the affected area should be sanitized to prevent further growth. If a cellar growth starts glowing or pulsating, it's no longer safe to remove in its manner. You have gotta use their services. Uh, I think it's the horde. It's an invisible, odorless collective unconscious that is known to collect and store a large quantity of common household refuse. Yep. They store vast quantities of trash in the home, to make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Yep. Use to range it. Oh, it's the horde. Like 100%. 100%. I'm not even going to read more. For the horde. I played Alliance, by the way. A gnome. A gnome warlock. Am I blind? Where's the fucking horde? T. Isn't it called the? Is oh, oh, but it's under. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's why. Oh yeah, it's right here, Lulu. Let's see. Play Vampire Mansion, bro. I got 100% achievements in that game, right? I'm gonna try Tekken after this. I want to see if I disconnect again. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please hold. I think we've read about this. Hey, you. Night Wisp, yeah. Some species of Wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They're known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promise of wealth and good fortune. <laughs> Not dangerous unless listened to. Refrain from listening to whispers and following directions. It doesn't say anything about whispers, hey, though. It doesn't say anything about whispers. Scotty, thanks three years. Thank you. And Alpha, thanks to 13. Uh, nah, you're all good. Hope your America trip went well. Yeah, this only has light to it, this guy. Oh, it's a raccoon with a light? Yeah, true. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten Thanks. any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. I mean, I don't see what else it could be, to be honest. It has to be that. Maybe a fae? No, it literally has to be this. Let's go with Night Wisp. Lamp Sprite? Oh, I can check it, I guess. 
Hey, you. No, we were to had this. It's it makes it smell burning smell and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It ain't that. It, we, we, we're overthinking it. We're overthinking it. We're overthinking it. It's it's the night wisp. Horny Riven, thanks the one year. Maybe Padillion, who knows? It's a long day, this one. Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. Portal? I feel like maybe I should step through it. No, it's a portal. Yeah. Please hold. Portals are door shaped openings to an outdoor location and the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or under cellars. Homeowners of portals frequently report cold drafts, straight streams, and a strong desire to enter. It's a portal. From that's from Last of Us 2. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Uh, we read about this. Uh, the Fae, the so no, Soap Sprite. Two make turn off for the maximum finger bathrooms presented to pink bars of soap. Oh wait, how big was it? Squid or something. This looks like it. Yeah, it's gotta be this, right? They eat bacteria, so it was eating bacteria. I think it is. I'm going with uh, the soap sprite. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my. Bathroom. Yeah, it suds like substance. Like, I went into the bathroom. Okay, yeah. Let's let, let's go with uh, soap sprite. What the fuck, confused hemorrhoid? You got a third eye, dude. Hundred percent. Hey, let's go. Easy peasy. All right, we should unlock the last one now. Hey, you. Yeah, Bambi. Thanks, thirty-seven. Glad you like it. Thunder Peak. Could you ever be a call per per center person in real life? No. Hey, you. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies.
As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle. Iron sword. Climbing gloves. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. The trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Mm. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in high rocket fall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights, do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheathe your sword. Exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it! Now enjoy the view. Hello, Hazleva. Hazleva. That was weird. Uh, this address is no longer active. Uh, hell, if you're receiving this email, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address registers is to no longer employed here as home safety hotline. Okay, it will be shut down, no longer able to send or receive email. Okay. Congratulations, your high accuracy rate. I was awarded you with today's daily coupon. It's a hag hide. Sourced cruelty free from the perished and treated with flower scented formula. These are the best quality hag hides, hides you'll find. This month only we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. Receive a discount. Same time following code. 
Haglin for deals. All right. Sick. Dinero. Hello. Is this the home safety hotline? Think there is something small and angry in my house at night. I can hear it at night whispering Tekken, Tekken. For now, I have been sleeping with a water gun since it only seems to fear water for some reason. <laughs> uh, actually, good one. <laughs> Saturday. I'm trying Gamma and try Tekken. I'm gonna beat this game and then try it. Tekken and see. If I disconnect when I go into Tekken now, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I have a fa I, I factor reset the router and everything, and I'm gonna be on PS5 against PS5, so we'll see how it works. Let's go. Forsen is fine, but he's not accepting any fights versus PC users. Apparently. No, I got it on PS5. Yeah, I, I got it. Lyric is still having issues and he's not playing Tekken. Yeah. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Hey, you. All right, here we go. Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines are often reported feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. gonna see a bath until she brought up the wine please hold to remove autumn vines from a household locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine pull this vine out by the roots and burn it prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meats of or meat substances to the ones beneath the soil was there a wine hob what, there's a wine sprite. Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. They're small, large eyed winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red while they're feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Alright, well, it's definitely this. Wine sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps provided they are baited with wine. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean wine glass and containers immediately after use. Well, let's do a wine sprite. It's a wine sprite, 100%. It's when you, it's, it's, yeah, it's gotta be. I have not any enough, no. Warlock remnants. Warlock remnants are residual persons often left behind by former warlocks. Most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded fi figures in reflective surfaces. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and hey, something you. is leaking out Oh, that's the, we know this. Wood secretion, I think. My kids are overly curious I think it's wood secretion. So I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. I do believe that this is wood secretion, but let me read this. Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of a sealy stone. But the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hey, hazardous or inconvenient, it's recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. Troll! 
Thrills are giant 12 feet tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. They're very dangerous to humans when they're startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Don't ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once they have secured its bounty. It's recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights. Okay. The Great Stab, thanks for five, man. Joy for thanks 39. Great face, no space, 27. And Shell Shirt, thanks for the 37. It's pretty gum. They're small green humanoids with leaf like coatings on their bodies. They're seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They're known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spitty guns commonly report vapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. They're incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within the view of your home. Don't eat any wild fruit or veg vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night. Left in a clean dish on your pouch. Reanimation. There are any reanimations or any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations report a foul smell, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near around the home. Reanimations pursued is slow but relentless, so re. Relocation is not necessarily or advisable. It's advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently sli slighted and make peace or, or bargain. Buka! Ah, They're shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They're known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual frightening pet behavior. They're relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay and the discarded bodies should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Whew. Hmm. Neighbor's doorway. There are door frame like structures that can often appear in the basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It's advised to utilize removal service. Okay. A leprechaun. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silver, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechauns' appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they're not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can also occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal desired, it is recommended to utilize professional help. 
a Drocha. Drocha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Drocha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. The Drocha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Drocha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Drocha, a uh, Dorcha. Oh, it's Dorcha. Oh. Is to be found by Dorcha. To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. And finally, bed hag. Ugh. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman-like appearance. They're known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping appar apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems, such as asthma, may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Bed eggs can in fact be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where bed egg is undesirable, utilize the removal services. Okay. We have now read all of them, I think, so let's let's do this. Wood secretions, I believe this is. Pink vicious liquid, something something's found form would have been mistreated. Play! Oh yeah, it's definitely wood secretions. <laughs> Woo! What up, this top your woman? It was wood secretions, no doubt, no doubt. I think there's someone watching me outside. Something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. Troll? I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public or something, and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Please hold it. Big gun was in the trees too, yeah. Inside trees. Not to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a spray gun. No doubt it's a spray gun. It's definitely a spray gun. Let's go. Woo! Fucking A. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house. Like oh, warm and uh, s uh, things are good here, brother. Things are good. Yeah. Would you tell my brother that things are good? We, we just read this. Please hold. We just read this. Uh, hey, you. What the fuck was it called?
It wasn't. Was it called Autumn something? Oh, Autumn Vines, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful? I, yeah, it's gotta be Autumn Vines. They grow around the house, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Autumn Vines. Bedfest, you dare expect me to read? Yeah, we read all of this now, so we just gotta choose the right ones. I think the game is almost over. And then I'm gonna try Tekken ranked again. See if I get Dust or whatever. Call! Yeah, I would be on Tekken all day, all weekend, if this didn't happen. Wait, is this the neighbor Please, door? I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. Oh. I, I don't know what's happened. Please. I think tell me it's how neighbor's to door. Pretty sure it's neighbor's door. Please hold. Confusion of step through as well as parallelism. Memory wisp? Nah. Or? Actually, maybe. Yeah, she does say gift back. She does. I, 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 yeah, let, let's go with the first one. Neighbor's door. I don't know why I went there. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die. Oh, this is the Which the feast. Worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house, because who knows how big this thing is? I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Oh yeah, I believe it's Fay Feast. Hey, you. Yeah. This is more edible. This doesn't sound edible the way she said. Disgusting pile of crap on a di trash gnome. The smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tripped garbage cans, loud crunching. I don't know. It doesn't say they, they placed that on the kitchen. They find large clumps of fur throughout the house. Kinda hard. Mm. 
Guilty Metal, thanks 74. Thank you. Uh, I could go with Trash Gnome. I'll do it. Fuck it. I'm going Trash Gnome. I don't think it is, to be honest. It's probably minus one, but... Fine. We should be good anyways. The only thing was Rotten Eggs, and she also said that. But the, the Fae Feast is more edible. But the thing is about... I Ah, uh, fuck. It was the Fae Feast, wasn't it? Because... Lucas. If left untouched, it can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pets such as crockers or carpenter. Oh, uh, no. Maybe, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hey. Yeah. Ball here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible, and every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Itchy kids. Is this the Please Dreamweaver, hope. maybe? Let's see here. Ants? <laughs> It says with nightmares. I feel like that nightmares is important, chat. No, no, he's washed and scrubbed the bed sheets too. He has. But he has resistance to pesticide. That nightmare thing is weird though. Let me just read about the Dreamweaver. Oh no, it's not that. Oh, let's go bed bugs. Fuck it. You got bed bugs, bro. It's not teeth. Teeth is uh is, is shrooms. Is mushrooms. Okay. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway. We're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. What? Please hold. Yeah, it was eating a bunch of stuff. Is that a le leprechaun? Hold up. Ah. Oh wait, it can cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances. Yeah, either this, I'm gonna read frozen pipes too. Strange faucet smells, banging, whistling sounds, nah. I'm going Leprechaun. Have you guys seen that movie, by the way? Leprechaun? It's a slasher movie? Fucking hilarious. Hey, you. It's a classic, dude. It has some good kills. That movie's old, yeah. Uh, yo, I'm for like 52. Thank you. There's like seven Leprechaun movies, really? I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night, I keep hearing this 
strange whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. What? I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the Oh the troll on and Troll, he's deflating. Putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but it's troll. What's up, Jester's black hat? Do you have any advice you can It's me? troll, it's troll. Please hold hundred percent is a troll. I keep going there. Watch all the fucking Leprechaun movies in a row? I would like it. I would. When I'm sick, next time I'm gonna lay down and watch them. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned. Oh, about we the read this. And the They're literally tea sprite. Because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. It's literally tea sprite. What it used to be, after all. She spoke about leaves, right? You lose tea leaves, yeah. Please hold. It's a tea sprite. Am I into the game? I'm, I think I'm pretty far. I got all these unlocked, so... Might be one more day after this. We'll see. Because I think Sunday is the next day. Huh? Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already. But he said to call here, so... We've been, um having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma. Oh, we, we just read about this. Severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Was that hag, yeah. Please hold. What were they called? Bed hag? You know, I crashed there. Sleep well, bro. Thanks, chilling, man. Over 10 p.m. I'm definitely gonna squeeze in some taking after this. Is there a dream woman? No. What's up, ham? Happy Saturday. Small mushroom like grows with many small holes in their caps to frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put uh, whistling fungi. Common hob. Common hob W. If Whistling Funga ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, Whistling Funga can be removed with common weed killers for utilizing removal services. Prevent the Whistling Funga infestation and ensure there are no open cracks in your home. It's 
instructions you sent didn't work, and it smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. Please. Oh, it is the Fae. It is the Fae Feast. It fucking was, dude. I got fooled. I got fooled by the way she described it. And th this one says, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. Yeah, it's very SCP. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. Oh. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Oh, it's can a puka. Because hey, her you. dog's body is is rotting and smelling. Please. It's a puka, 100%. Misaki, thanks 23 and Bales Master, thanks 26, thank you. Yeah, 100 percent of Puka. Yeah, picking the wrong things is very interesting, actually. I like it. Ninety-two. Yeah, I fucked that one up, man. The fame one. <clears throat> Explain the game. Uh, you're on a call service. It's basically like SCP, kinda. You're on a call service, and you need to help people with their issues. There's an entry browser now. I think I'm on the last day now. Someday. It's been a week then. We're happy to report that we're most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your pending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the good great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Fresh release, boy, your high accuracy rate is. Oh, yeah, you got a coupon over 90%. Yeah. We got a glamour stone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look your best without the stress, our glamour stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our glamour stones have 99.9% reliability rating. Receive a discount. Use the following code. Wham glam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Entry browser. Oh. Oh, I think network is going to be completely down now. Maybe. Dread Delusion? I've never played it, no. Oh, yeah, maybe they played Tekken Ranked, yeah. Oh. Maybe I need to click the picture or what, what would fit this? I, mean, I don't fucking know. Probably not. That would be weird, right? Okay. The Warlock. Yeah, it's the Warlock. What are we? You are a uh, Warlock Remnant. Hundred percent. Read it, can't read it. Showcase thy knowledge. Oh. 
They're literally just uh, gåtor. I'm not living yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Clatter. Yeah, it sounds like the uh, the little doll thing. Please and then they die. I think that was... Hold up, what was the other one called? I don't want to pick the, uh, the wrong thing here. Uh, that was, yeah, 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 of course. What's going on? Uh, it's like the final thing. It's, uh, riddles. I did the first one wrong, though, because I thought it was just a color. Like, you have to describe the color or whatever. Ugh. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. We had, uh, yeah, the, the, the water fay, the storm fay or whatever. Please. Uh, uh no, fay, yeah, nymph. Uh, rain nymph, yeah, it's gotta be rain nymph. This is kind of easy. the harbinger of death i am the harbinger of pestilence i am forever the new okay i actually don't know this chat knows i was thinking the uh drotcha or whatever but the dorcha that i think that's too cryptic housefly oh yeah housefly Please yeah hold. that's true actually yeah that's true House flight could be good. Because they're fucking annoying. And they can bring uh, pestilence, you know? It could be... It could be mice too. But I think it's... Well, if you think like that, it can be rat, mice. It could be a fucking uh, spider. could be an ant I feel I'm gonna go with fly I'm gonna go with house fly because they're fucking annoying mice are cute bro no 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 we're going with this chat we're going with this Yeah, I remember when we read the house flies, I said they bring pestilence and all that. I seek the domains of those... I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within. They lose their way. What am I? Oh, is this the closet? Uh, hold up. Step within and they lose their way. This is a closet labyrinth. Hundred percent. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <sighs> Expand thy mind.
Going from Street Fighter, Shark Dog Mode Fantasy to Tekken is so hard, yeah. But Tekken has actually an amazing practice system now. It's very good. For the first time, like, ever, I feel. Oh, wait, we've read about this, too. We're companions of the gardens. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What These are old. we? We did read this. Um... Ants, yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. I feel like we read two or three that, that said this. Yeah, I don't think it's Brigan. I think seedling specifically. But did it help though? Companions of the Gardens? Sprigan was like. Sprigan's like the forest and stuff. Did they take out weeds? Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. There was one that had a description that took out weeds. And I don't remember if that was Seedling. Was it Seedling? Okay, well, I'm going Seedling then. We'll see how we get. Oh shit, I got Lambredeems. Fuck, I gotta remove that. Whoops. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Carpenter ants. Oh, yeah, it does sound like a fire. No, it does sound like a house fire. You know, the flames are dancing. Ants aren't fucking dancing. They're, the house fire is the thing. I'm going to go house fire. My final answer. I'm guaranteed. <laughs> I'm definitely not getting 100% hey, on this, you. but hopefully, like, I can get over 90 or something. Steve, I think 37. Uh, yo. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. Yeah, I keep selecting here first before I click there. I don't know why. Whoa. Wait, this is the... This, this, this is that one. The Drocha. For sure. This has to be the... The Drocha, yeah. Thank you. No, Palaz, thanks 20. Thank you. Could also be post -nord. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Supervisor 
Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Okay. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. I have an octus there is. Druids, man. It's always druids. True. Art book. I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Home Safety Online. If you're reading really this, hopefully it means you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. If so, you've come to the right place. This is a peek into the game's art, development process, and all the human messiness and that entails. I hope you enjoyed this thorough and admittedly indulgent look into what went into making Home Safe the Hotline the game is it is right now. Huh. Devin Game. Ooh, that's that's good. The, the thanks killing day. I'll save it. How's Gnoblin folklore? Yeah, it's like, this is cool when they do this though. Puka. <laughs> Gnome problem. All right, is it time to disconnect? Oh. Let's see if it happens now, but I'm going to be on PS5 and only on PS5. Oh, read through the art book. Oh, it's Faye Carol. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's fucking nice, man. Good job, Dev. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Can't drag files. Also, someone asked you can't drag files. Oh. Huh. Cool stuff. Log out. <laughs> 